Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the first game of today. We are going to be watching Trex versus Decapitator. My name's Jack, I'm here with Casper and also Avoid and a nice little broadcaster. Uh, Rexa, how are you doing Casper? Uh, uh, I'm doing very good, it's uh, nice to be back and how are you doing? I'm doing great, I'm doing great. What about you Avoid? You know the usual, up and down, but Honestly, I'm fine, thank you. Nice, exactly. Well, I'm glad you're doing well, but obviously we're now in the uh, third rankings. This is the one for the acid, and this is the first game that we are going to be streaming. We've seen both these teams play before. I'm, to be honest, I've not really kept up, uh, kept up with this team to see if they've made any changes or whatnot, um, but we are going to be seeing the first map. Uh, being played off which is cross second od is dropping and it looks like trex managed to take it yeah nice way for tricks to start off the round um they're also gonna play sandal after the second round so i'm wondering uh, how both teams are gonna play i don't know a, a lot about both teams but yeah both teams still in the race for acid since it's the first match so we're gonna see what's gonna happen I mean, you guys didn't get to introduce the team, so I just quickly go and introduce Trek, and then I guess I'll do let Hope introduce the other team. So, on Trek, we have Zanzo, Sosadov, Art Deco, The Fury, Phoenix, and Poseidon. Yeah, and then for the Capitator, we have uh, Diva, Tanky, Skr12, we got Bite, I believe, JK, Vasily, and Star XP. So, yeah, actually, we're going to be seeing a push coming in here from JK and also Bite, but he does get to the level. I'm not too sure if I'm saying that name right, but we're well, just going to call him Bite uh, for now. But it uh, looks like it's uh, been pretty back and forth for both these teams and obviously uh, with uh, everyone being gone for quite a way after the second major rankings this format has had a bit of an update to itself so we are seeing the likes of Gauss being played, Hammers being brought back into the meta um, and what else is there? Am I missing anything else Casper? Uh, not that I know. Uh, yeah, like you said, they made Hammer and Gauss better with the new sport updates. So we probably see that a lot more. But I've seen some teams experiment with uh, all those combos, but I'm not sure what's the best option yet. Uh, we see 
So is it off, uh, take the OD and at the same time JK1 is pulling, he runs straight into the Fury Phoenix who backed out I think. He left the map so that means he can pull this flag. And he is going to the base now, maybe Poseidon can stop him but it's gonna be hard for them. Yeah, precisely. Uh, Bicep tapped in and he manages to snatch the flag away. This looks like it might be a capture, but Art Deco here, I don't know really what's going on here. Honestly, <laughs> what is going on? Yeah, there was a lot of uh, stuff going on, but... Uh... Looks like Decapitators got their first capture. Uh, they got a bit lucky because one of the players from Treeks lagged out. That definitely helped uh, Decapitators to capture this flag. And they're up by 1-0 now, so it's looking good for them. But now it's um, the Fury Phoenix with the Ares OD, also a Paladin OD from Xenzo. But at the same time, JK1 pulling again. He's pulling so many flags now, but nice OD by Art Deco. And this can be uh, a draw now with this capture from Xenzo. Yeah, nice capture from them. I mean, you can see Zanzo batting off the bar tank. Sister, Paladin OD just runs out, but Art Deco is battling against Star XP here. Hopefully, he can get some support from the crew's realm, but he's having a little bit of trouble here. The defense is holding down the fort, and the OD box is also dropping mid. So, Bersley is there. Will he be able to take it? Yeah, Vasily takes it pretty nice by him. So now they have another Viking OD. They also have an Ares OD. He might actually want to use it now, but I don't think Vasily has a Viking OD. So maybe it's better to save it for a, a better opportunity. Yeah. Precisely nice. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. You were saying that, but I just wanted to uh, point out something. Yeah, I am. Uh, point something out to all of you broadcasters uh, you don't like checking Discord because I believe we've got a little rave going on on uh, the Twitch chat we've got commentator audio and also music <laughs> so that's a bit interesting um, but yeah anyways back to the game um, if you want to uh, talk about that so been apologies guys a little bit of technical issues going on but Back to the game, you can see JK1 snatches the enemy's flag and goes down the hill, but Sisodov really being a nuisance there and takes out the flag carrier. So, I mean, nice gameplay there. Yeah, that could have been bad for Treeks, but they managed to defend that flag. So it's still a draw, anything can happen. But I think so far, maybe, yeah, let's see. I think Treeks is playing a little bit better, but it can definitely go both ways. Both teams have been playing pretty good, so we're gonna see what's uh, gonna happen. And uh, yeah, OD is dropping now. Maybe Tratankista can take it. Oh, if, if he shot a little bit earlier, he could have taken out the Ares, but he, I don't think he saw him. Nah, I don't think he saw him as well, but. Right now we can see both teams fighting two for now as it's 1-1 one, one and 3 minutes 45 seconds left on the timer. Which team will step up and show their performance and manage to take another flag and capture it. So right now nice OD there from Bytep. I don't know what happened there but he managed to die there somehow. Bytep pulling the enemy's flag. He looks like he's struggling as dead tax getting away and Stretch really abuses that as their advantage and returns the flag. Yeah, that was pretty nice by him. I wonder if uh, any of the teams are still going to capture because it seems like they're doing a, a good job defending, but they're not really uh, having that much opportunities for a capture. But I, f I feel like JK1, he's been uh, doing a lot of pulls uh, so far, so maybe he can do it another time. But it seems like he's going alone most of the time, so I wonder if he can get another flag. I haven't really seen much aggressiveness on for Trips, to be honest. Nice OD by Vasily. Vita steps in. I mean, the OD was still worth it in the end, even though he didn't kill anyone. Vita there is also there to support Vasily as he's pulling the enemy's flag, but he gets taken out here. Art Deco there trying to play aggressive here, but Zanzo there also alone, low HP here. This is not looking good as this. 
as the game goes on it gets even more intense as nice od there from the crusader but it looks like it was a capture there for decapitator yeah nice capture by uh, decapitators uh, also uh, if rick so if you can turn down the music so the, the viewers can hear us better i would appreciate that but yeah um looks like um the Capitators are in a really nice position to win this round. They are up by one flag and with only less than two minutes to go, they're in a really good position. They still have to defend uh, their flag for a little bit more because Trix does have an uh, Aris and I believe a Paladin OD, so it will be hard for them. I also see they have a Viking OD now. So there's definitely some opportunity for uh, Trix to uh, get another capture, but they need to work uh, together, set up an attack and maybe it will work. Uh, Precisely. I don't know, Art Deco, Art Deck, he literally activated his OD at the very wrong time, in my opinion, so that really left them at a disadvantage for Jets. However, Zanzo there with Paladin OD manages to kiss the floor as he flips over. Not looking too good there. Um, Vasily controlling the right side of the map, but he's low HP there. As JK1 also sneaking with Biotech, he has a lot of support there. As Zanzo there trying to do some damage, but JK really abuses the abuses, but what happened there? Phoenix steps in and takes him out um, with some support. Um, sorry Rex, is this going to your stream? And yeah, click there, just delete it. Right click, and move it. Yeah, yeah. And then transition. Music should be fixed now. Sorry, guys. But anyways, back to the game. I mean, uh, this match is nearly over, and it's already going to be uh, well. It's currently two to one, but there is a counter pull being made to uh, disallow that third flag from being uh, made. It looks like the capitator is doing a really good job here of uh, taking that first win in the bag. Um, and yeah, we're going to be going over into the next one. I mean. I feel like both teams are fairly good, um, and I'm not sure in the previous major if these teams were top 32 or not. Do you guys know? I have no idea. I can check maybe, but I don't know it out of the top of my head. But I think both these teams are like kind of in the mid table or the lower table. Mm. Yeah. Um... Can't tell if that was a violation or not. <laughs> no, no, that's this. I mean, uh, yeah, it wasn't meant to be a violation if it came out like that, but but you know, they're they're getting better, they're improving, you know. And it's good that they went up against uh, this team first compared to another team because I I have seen that people got a bit salty that they're going up against diamonds or red notice first and on easier team because obviously. Um, that's a real big setback um, probably demotivates a lot of players because um, although they probably know that they're not going to be able to win acid, um, they still want to get like four to one or four to two or whatnot um, to gain as much as, as, as they possibly can. Yeah, true. I think it definitely helps if you start off with some uh, easier teams, but in the end, you always have to play a good team to win acid. So it, it doesn't, influence it that much in my opinion i mean you're totally right it also it all comes down to what team you play on and many players out there now that just coming into sport and wanting to play they want to play on like a strong team they gotta understand you gotta start from somewhere like even from the basics like from a weak team and eventually work your way up the ladder and then you'll become into like strong teams like red notice Pepega. Uh, Casablanca, those teams like that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I wouldn't classify Pepegra as a strong team with Casper in it, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Anyways, the match is starting. Uh, Overdrive was taken, I believe, by Star XP. And uh, let's get into the second round. Um, I just want to say, yeah, I forgot to do predictions, guys. I'm sorry about that. Um, if it is a tie here, then I will be uh, opening up predictions to make it uh, fair. But um, yeah, that's my bad. Apologies. 
Yeah, so both teams started now. Uh, Star XP took the overdrive box at the start, so that will give uh, Decapitators a little advantage. They're also rushing into the base of Treeks now. Vasily and Bytep uh, are right there. Maybe Bytep can take this flag already. This can be a capture, but at the same time, Art Deco in the base of Decapitators, but with two players on him, he's not going to pull this flag. Uh, Bytep also got taken out, and Tva Tenkisa with his Aris side. Uh, it's not of much help there. Yeah. We can also notice Star XP there with the Hunter camping on the right side, dealing some shots, but he's on low HP. Wuzanzo take him out just in time. We can see a few players on the blue side, which is Chets. They're holding down on the four, giving some trouble to buy tap. So hopefully, fingers crossed, they can avoid the other team from capturing a flag. Yeah, if Dragon Knight was here, he'd make a little pun about you and avoid. Uh, but anyway, so Overdrive is dropping here by Tap. What's lagging a little bit? Looks like Diva Tankiska is going to be taking that. JK going to be pushing in for that flank. He's up against four players. But Diva going to be using that Overdrive in the opposite direction. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a bit unfortunate. That's a, uh... But still, flag is in the uh, in the opportunity here for Vasily. Uh, and he will actually has a really high potential for getting this first capture. Yeah, what a capture by Vasily. Like, it looked like they were going to return and then Vasily came in, snatched the flag because uh, Trix got really close to returning and then he just captured it by himself. They're also going for another capture now, but uh, Trix is not allowing that. They just uh, lost a, a flag and they don't want to lose another one, so they're trying to focus on defense for now, but they have to find a, a way to capture another flag to keep them into this match. Because if they lose another round, it will be very unlikely that they're going to win. Yeah. Also, we noticed JK1. He, I don't know why he's going there kind of alone. Bytep should have stepped in and still dealt some shots. But JK1 is having a lot of trouble here. Davak Tankista, what a tongue twister name. In the middle, dealing some shots with his Ares OD. And it's looking like kind of like a standoff. Well, it isn't a standoff, you know what I mean. <laughs> exactly. I believe that name means uh, uh, Girl Diva in Russian. With Diva Girl. But anyways, uh, Overdrive is dropping there. Uh, oh, Hunter's going to be wasting his OD. Star XP possibly going to take, looks like, two Overdrives. Uh, oh, have a bit of a waste there. Uh, um on the blue side unfortunately um although there's still potential there's under seven minutes we are seeing a pool being made oh no the fury phoenix uh definitely don't want to be using overdrives into the ground like that again and then blocking your teammate but he's still managing to pull somehow Vasily going to be using star xp going to be getting that return star xp can use his od which he will do no one's pulling the flag though they're giving themselves a bit of time um, JK going to be using the Paladin OD, it looks like uh, b tight going to be dropping that overdrive, um, Paladin does spawn right behind him, uh, but wow, what a cluster um, from both teams, I feel like uh, it is unfortunate that uh, they weren't able to get that capture on the blue side, but they might be able to get a read, never mind. <laughs> Yeah, another capture by Decapitators. I mean, Trix could have captured that flag, I think, but the Fury Phoenix shot his OD into the ground. I mean, if you drive forwards, you, you're taking the risk that your arrows OD will uh, go into the ground. If you drive backwards, your OD will go a little bit up. So that's what the arrows usually do. But yeah, that's that's a bit unfortunate as well. But yeah, that, that cost them a, another capture. So they're down 2-0 now. And they will really have to fight hard to make this comeback. But it's not impossible. Yeah, that's that's precisely right. Nothing is impossible. The OD bots is also dropping mid. And the Vartankista gets taken out. Nice control there from players. But hold on. Paladin OD activated by Zanzo. Zanzo is really pulling the flag here. But Silly gets taken out. Also, there's also a counter pull also going on again by the Capitator. But Poseidon really trying to do as much damage as possible. Zanzo looked like he's in trouble here. I don't think he will have much support, but Zanzo managed to hold up um, himself by himself. But Star XP also going down into their base to go for a standoff. Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, 
standoffs at these point of times probably aren't what Trex uh, are wanting. There is under five minutes. They are two flanks down. They didn't win that first round either. So it isn't uh, the best for them. Um, although um, there's going to be a return and it looks like a uh, cap potato will be taking another win in their direction. It really looks like it. Uh, JK won with another pull, but he gets taken out. Our Deco also trying to do uh, something, but gets taken out really quick. He... Xenzo is taking over this flag, but with two players on him, it seems very unlikely he's going to get this flag. Uh, Bytep takes him out and returns, but I'm I'm really amazed by how uh, uh, Decapitators returns, because it was a really nice OD by Tvat and Kista, and I don't know if you noticed, but Vasily went uh, like behind the red tower so people weren't able to, to shoot him because he was one shot and then the arrows already healed him and took out the flag i mean yeah it was dazzling the space of skills and creativity there zanzo also pulling the flag um dealing some shots to vasily poseidon managed to carve out his name on the wall which is not good there also jk going for a counter ball here going down the ramp but he really doesn't have anyone to help him here and art deco really takes the advantages of that situation and goes for the return but Bytep also stepping in here really going up against five players it looks like he won't be able to do much here as he also gets taken out yeah this is uh looking good for them a bit promising they are able to get that capture like you said but um, I don't know, it's, it's a bit of sort of a stumble here. Ooh, Hunter does use his OD, takes that one play, gets taken out though by Bytep. Um, and it looks like uh, Post, Post on John or whatever uh, does flip there um, on the other hand, is, along with Zanzo. But uh, I really don't understand the positionings right now uh, with some of these players. I feel like that's the massive flaw on their behalf. Um, bit of communication lack as well uh, might be a cause of this issue. But something which is so great is JK, the way he's playing with his Paladin, just coming out, no one really witnessing where he is. Although he has pulled multiple times, like just now, um, he keeps, he keeps uh, getting taken out, but he's opening up those opportunities. And as a Paladin player, that's probably uh, what you should be doing. Um, especially going unnoticed for that matter. Yeah, another OD box dropping. The Fury Phoenix wanted to use and take, but he took it again, but uh, he didn't use his OD. Uh, so yeah, s score is still 3-1. Maybe uh, the Fury Phoenix and Poseidon can do something uh, in the attack now. They really got to do something quickly because there's 1 minute and 40 seconds left. And with two captures to go, it seems very unlikely they're going to get this uh, comeback. But nothing is impossible. They're still trying to go for it. Poseidon trying to go a little bit sneaky, but Vasily notices him. So he's definitely going for him now. Yeah, Vasily also has OD on Viking, so... I don't know when he's going to use it, but by tap there, I don't know what he's doing if he's trying to shoot the birds out of the sky with, with his Crusader OD. Maybe, maybe not, but we also can notice that JK is sneaking underneath the bridge at this current stage. So maybe by tap might be able to deal some damage to Sosadov and JK activates his Paladin OD, but this looks like it might be accountable here as no one's in defense here. Poseidon also shoots out the bugs off the floor with his Crusader OD. Zanzo activating his Paladin OD, but right now players are weaving in and out of defenders with ease, and this is looking like a capture for JK1, um, which is the capitator. Yeah, this is. Um bit peak second round another loss so this is gonna be uh possibly the last round in the game uh on the next map if uh the captators do win this then they will be uh winning their first game up against uh trex but um i don't know what anyone know what the second map is uh oh it's sandal so it is going to be um an interesting map going from quite a large scale map into a smaller one uh, a bit more dynamics within sandal although i just i 
I don't know how it's going to play out, to be honest. Like I said, from the beginning, I haven't really been paying attention to either of the, these teams. So um, what I do know is that uh, they're on the same wavelength. Yeah, I agree. I, I still think anything can happen, especially with a different map. But as of now, Decapitators is definitely the favorite now. They're up uh, 2 0. And something I've noticed in Cross is that they're both, uh, both Vikings are playing Hammer. And I think uh, because they made Hammer better again, it might be a good option. But at the same time, I don't know if Cross is the right map for such a short range turret. Mm. Well, I, I kind of think that with the new meta, they might believe that it might be better. But however, it's a short, it's a long range map. And to kind of use it, it's kind of, I want to use the word that begins with a D, but you know, it's kind of like a Lelet situation. So I don't know, man. What? What <laughs> Lelet situation? <laughs> How you what? guys know what I'm talking about? <laughs> what? Yeah, I don't know this guy. Anyway, <laughs> we uh got map link here, and we are gonna be joining that uh into the sandal. Um, so let's see what will occur um in this possible last round. Hopefully, for uh Trex, they are able to make a comeback, although it's gonna be a bit difficult um because the capitator although they have a meme profile picture as their uh as their uh plan logo they definitely uh come out here victorious and warriors i think so too they they've been playing really good at the start i think tricks was the uh, a little bit stronger they they started off really good but after that Decapitators was just too strong for them and beat them both rounds. Even though in the first round, uh, one of the players from Treeks lagged out, which helped them get a capture. But yeah, apart from that, it's it's mainly Decapitators uh, going for the captures and also with the better defense <laughs> and OD control. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Decapitator, I think they've taken probably 80% uh, of the overdrives. From what I've seen, I don't know. I did uh, put my head down a couple times. So I might have missed out on a odd one here and there. Although, uh, let's see. I mean, we are in the second map now. We're just waiting for, I believe, a reset, right? Uh, and uh, let's see what will occur. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like both teams uh, are using pretty much the same combos as they did in the in the last round. They're also using the same players, except for Hulk, I think, from uh, Team Decapitators. I'm not too sure about Gauls here, but I guess if you can't use Striker like Hope, I guess you have to use <laughs> Gauls. I, I, I. You know what? What? <laughs> I mean... They're like, nah, nah. Uh, I don't know, man. Gregor Lava explains it. I don't know, man. Gregor Lava is in. Okay, okay. Pipe down, boys. Pipe down. We all can't play amazing. We get it. Especially me. But uh, let's see. Today we got a match, don't we, Caspi? Going up against the infamous dominance. Yep, I forgot what their name was now because they changed their name. Like last tournament, their name was Incarnate. Now it's Revolutionary. Revolutionary. Yeah, yeah, Revolutionary. I wonder if they will actually make any revolutions. Uh, uh, probably not against us. But... One that can only hope, right? Um, but anyways, yeah, uh, we are in the map, so. Uh... Our broadcaster can show the map for our lovely viewers. Um, and then we get into this uh, possible last round. And uh, I want to see where both these teams end up being. Um, do you, where, where do you guys want to... Do you want to guess what their outcome will be? 4-3, 4-2, 4-1? What do you think? I think the winner of this match will get acid. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I'd like you, uh, Lelic, uh, Void. 
Uh, well, I obviously can see that the Capitator, they are playing very well. So, I mean, with their determination, I believe they would be able to win. So, it looks like Chets will have to go back to the training board and play a bit more TKB. Yeah. So maybe okay. you're looking like a four. Oh, maybe I don't know. I also want to say something serious this time. I've, um, I looked at it, and hey, the capitators. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, for once, uh, the capitators got two four last tournament. But as I see them play now, I think they they definitely improve. So I think they can get like four three or three four, and for tricks, yeah, I'm not sure to be honest. They. As they they are playing now, it's probably gonna be like two four. But yeah, the the round started now. It's already uh, uh, there's already an attack from the capitators. This can be their first flag already. Only after thirty seconds now, Star XP pulling this flag. Got two teammates with him. Uh, JK One is taking over this flag because he got taken out. It gets a bit stuck behind the tank. This can be a, possibly a return now. Hawk taking over this flag. Got Star XP with him. It's blocking him a little bit, but this is gonna be a capture. Really nice teamwork by uh, Decapitators. And they're able to get a capture so early on in the match or uh, round, I mean. I mean, well, precisely. Um, well, this just goes down to show that maybe the predictions might be. Right, and Chets won't be able to do much yet. So, I don't know, Hope, what do you think? Uh, you know what, I think the Capitators have a very solid chance right now. We can already see them waiting for that O-Drive. They did change to Smokey, uh, although they won't be able to take that OD. It looks like uh, the Crusader will be. Um... Mm-hmm. Yeah, Crusader D isn't the most useful one, but it's still better than when the opponent takes it, of course. But yeah, so far, uh, the Capitate is up one flag, and that can possibly uh, possibly be two flags soon, because Star XP is pulling this flag. Uh, Crusader D by Poseidon takes out no one, but I think he did some damage there, so Xenzo getting this return now to make sure uh, that the score isn't getting any worse for Treeks. I'm not sure if you see what's going on here, but that the bar tank hister was kind of waffling there with his Ares. But Hulk, nice OD there with his Crusader, dealing some shots right now to Art Deco. But hold on, start XP on the right, on the left side of the map, pushing with Vasily and JK1. As you also know, that JK1 is very good at the pushing aggressive, so this might be a bit more promising for Decapitators once again. Yeah, I mean, the Capitators, uh, obviously, they, um, they die out there, and it looks like they are going for another push. Looks like Vasily, JK, and Star XP all on the line there on the left side. Star XP trying to hitch some shots onto that uh, Paladin along with uh, JK. Uh, he does get taken out. JK is still alive. Uh, that Hunter is going to be using a Reaper uh, really early. JK going to be popping an OD with only being one HP, which was a bit risky. Um, so both flaws from both those two individuals, but uh, yeah, sticky one still. Yeah, that, that was surprising coming from uh, JK1, because he played really good uh, like uh, so far this whole match, and now he uses an OD like this. But um, yeah, they're still going for another flag. If you ask me, this is going to be another capture. So many players from the Capitators. There's no way they're not going to get this capture. Um, yeah, not a single player from Trix is uh, even pushing up now. So easy capture by Hulk, making the score 2-0. Star XP also going for another flag. I think Poseidon missed his shot, so Star XP is still going. Dice now, JK1 taking over this flag. Takes a little bit of time, but he's still getting it. And this can be another capture as well. I mean, you're totally right. I guess JK1 really had to step up there after his poor performance of activating his Paladin OD when he was on 1 HP. However, it really just goes down to show that he, his pride was on the line, so he had to capture that flag. Yeah, I don't know. It's a bit of a Waffleitos at this point in time for Trex. I mean, 
They're off, down three flags. I really don't think they have the potential. Uh, to be honest, I thought Trex were going to be uh, doing a better job. I did see also there's Trex Jr., so hopefully they don't play uh, as bad as uh, the Sky <laughs> Trex is. Um, but we shall see. Imagine they go up against each other. That'd be funny. Yeah, that will be funny. I also noticed they had a junior team, so I haven't seen them play yet. So I'm I'm really surprised uh, or curious to see how that's gonna uh, be. But yeah, so far the the senior team of Tricks isn't doing that great because it looks like they're gonna lose their first match. But yeah, I f I think the Capitators is also a pretty good team. Like they didn't do well last tournament, but that doesn't mean they're they're still bad. They they def definitely improved, and yeah, looking at this match, uh, they have been really strong. Nice OD by Hawk. He also knocked Poseidon uh, with his Crusader OD, so that's great. Our Deco used his uh, Viking OD to take out all the players from the Capitators, because that possibly would have been another capture if he didn't use his Viking OD. I mean, yeah, a bit of server like that too as well, <laughs> like. Four, three, four, your ODs was activated at one current situation there. But JK1, once again, snatching the enemy's flag. Look at him there. Absolutely outstanding performance there. JK1 gets taken out by Zanzo. Vasily there slips with his name kind of like, sounding like Vaseline there. Also, the bad tankista there, also there to support him. JK1, and it's another capture for the Capitators. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Overdrive is dropping here. Looks like uh, it's going to be a win here for the uh, team, the Capitators. I, I was really hoping for a bit of a more interesting match, to be honest, uh, against Trex. I really wanted to see a bit of back and forth action, although it's just been pure domination, really, from the uh, Capitators. It's, it's not even like full map control they have i feel like it's more they just push in all together and it just really works out yeah i definitely agree like i mean at the start tricks was pretty good but from the second round onwards it's been complete domination by uh decapitators they're possibly getting a, a couple of more captures this round still they also use Smokey now. I, I just realized it because both teams used Hammer last rounds in uh, in Cross. But here in Sandal, they decide to use uh, Smokey on Viking. And I think that's still the better combo, but I'm not sure. We will have to see how uh, the bigger teams are going to play. I mean, you're totally right there. JK1 there, a bit kind of waffling there. I'm not sure if you noticed that as well. But Hulk there, also sneaking in, snatching the enemy's flag. Zanzo trying to do as much damage as possible. But Vasily there to support. Poseidon might be able to take up Vasily, but Poseidon really gets sent back to the ocean with his name. Nice OD devil by the bad Hankista. And this is looking promising once again for the Capitators. They're really living up to their name. Hulk there, taking the enemy's flag. He has. DA and DP, so that will be a capture for the Capitators once again. Yeah, I mean, even uh, the overdrive on Star XP and uh, him stealing it from that other player there on the Capitator, this is a uh, guaranteed win. Nice overdrive uh, from uh, Diva Tankiska, uh, making sure that uh, they weren't able to get the return, regardless if they. Uh, captured or not getting that extra capture always helps doesn't it and it looks like a uh, zanzu gonna be using as well um on a defense attack here i mean time is basically ticking up here and uh doubtful they're even gonna be able to tie this regardless if they did tie this it would be a loss yeah six zero is pretty bad but maybe they can uh play better in the next match uh, at weeks. But yeah, for now, uh, it also looks like they're not really trying anymore. Or at least it, it doesn't look like it. Uh, maybe Capitators can get one more flag. Nice OD by Poseidon. Takes out uh, 
JK1 was going for the flag, but Vasily still has a chance. Sanzo doesn't see him, so he actually has a pretty good chance now. Goes back to the left side where JK1 is, because he probably needs to take over this flag, because Vasily is on low HP. I mean, yeah. It looks like it's going to be another capture by the Capitators. They're really, really, absolutely <laughs> dominating this match. And if I was on the opposing team, which was the Chirates, I would honestly pack my bags and leave the match. At this point, it's not looking too good for them. A big 8-0. I'm in Sandal. And right now, the Capitators is really living up to their name. And hopefully, Hope might be able to join their team for a chat and show them how to actually play. I can't be doing that. Apparently, Casper uh, is the man of getting people top eight uh, uh, positions. But, you know, we'll let him uh, live with that because uh, he did the same for Dominic. Oh, no, he didn't. Um, <laughs> but uh, anyways, with that being said, guys, we are going to be wrapping up this stream. And we really appreciate watching both tricks and... Uh, uh, decapitators, even though it was a bit of a flimsy game, I want to say thanks to Casper, Avoid, and also Rexo for broadcasting. That being said, we'll see you guys later. Transition.